hiding counterfeit smiles of our broken reflection, only to have you reappear as a distant attachment of yesterday's sunset. We're strangers again, born in similarity, left by unspoken ending, unable to voice feeling, trapped in inevitable grieving, losing faith in each other so easily. I gave up as poured shortages of excuses crept into busy, unanswered silence. I let my head overthink, fear of abandonment. Ignoric souls ache inside, then we initiate trauma ghosting, wearing overgrown doubt as protection. Our insecurities melt memories, insufficient healed chaos ruptures unexplained anxiety. Now we're checking out quietly. Did you ever like me? Did I earn your friendship? Or was I nothing? A fake hint of reality. I won't pretend to be innocent. I'm a child of neglect. And my bruises soak in true sadness. The pain sleeps in dormant layers of questioned forgetfulness. Where stillness is suspicious. Unmoving lungs seem vindictive. And I'm lost in dreadful prediction. My own toxic superstition. How did I get here? Why don't you care? I want to pick up my phone and tell you I'm sorry. But I'm not sure what I've done. I'm not sure where it went wrong. Too many times we felt unread, unsaid regret. Too many times are unfit to try. One too many times. Feels like a forever goodbye. Thank you for being my friend, taking a leap into unpredictable me, attempting to appreciate what you see. I'm sorry I wasn't enough to keep you available. Being free in time is being valuable. Now this is the part where I move on force myself to stay strong in healing, believe in myself as I release the tender familiarity of your beautiful personality into the abyss of gratitude, hopeful to change my inner distance, forever ignite the sensation of self-acceptance, healthy in mental health. Sure, maybe I wasn't enough. Sure, maybe I was too much, but I'm just being myself. 